Good evening. A center that provides daily meals to less fortunate families in Middletown is in jeopardy of closing. 15 years ago, Luella Thompson started the Dream Center. Tonight, workers there are struggling to keep her dream alive. Night News reporter Annette Pegler live in our Butler Warren newsroom to explain. Annette. Well, Tanya, back in 1997 when the center opened, it was Luella Thompson's dream to never turn anyone away who needed help. But organizers say they may have to if donations don't start coming in. Dream Center is Reggie. Reggie Castleman has been the Dream Center's operations manager for 10 months. It was something he said he was called from God to do. 15 months ago, he learned he had cancer. And as I was laying in bed recuperating, God spoke to me and... He gave me another chance. I'm cancer free and I decided to utilize my efforts in keeping the Dream Center open. The center provides breakfast and lunch to about 25 kids and adults daily who need it. But lately, Castleman says the pantry shelves just aren't filling up. The economy for one, um, the need is there, but the interest in helping or volunteering seem to have dropped or died down. He says after the holidays, the donations slack off. The center operates solely on those donations, and Castleman says because of the economy, bills are starting to add up and the building is falling apart. We recently got our air condition fixed, but like I said, the upstairs is not. Uh, we have an elevator that's down. Volunteers say the center is a place of refuge. And they come here every day just to play and eat and have a great time. That may soon be over. Castleman says the building is just $9,000 away from being paid off, but they have a long way to go. He's asking for the public's help. We're a small community, and uh, this need was perceived by a very beautiful and great lady. And it's just a challenge to keep the dream alive. The center accepts money, but Castleman told me today that they rather just have food so that they can keep their food pantry open. To learn how to donate or to make a donation, just go to WCPO.com. Annette Pegler, 9 News, live in the Butler Warren Newsroom. Thanks, Annette.